parts of Lenawee County will see those showers and storms first. Then they'll get closer to Detroit and the rest of southeast Michigan after 8 p.m. as we get closer to 9 p.m., 10 p.m. and afterward. For example, if you're boating or you know folks who are boating, I'd say get back into the docks. Make sure you get back to dry land as early as 8 p.m. That is probably the safest thing to do. If you do have plans that are outdoors, maybe wrap those up by 8 p.m. as well if you want to have a more comfortable night and you're not rushing things. We're looking at 71 degrees currently over in Mount Clemens, 73, 73 degrees for our friends in Ann Arbor, low 70s all around. As you can see, there's that marginal to slight risk of severe weather later on this evening. I'm talking about heavy downpours, gusty winds and dangerous lightning, even the possibility of at least some small hail. That's later on this evening, especially as we get close to the midnight and even in the wee hours of our Tuesday morning. And that's generally from M59 northward. As you can see on the computer models, here we are in Detroit. Some of that strong thunderstorm activity will be crossing into parts of southeast Michigan around 11 p.m. But really, I'm betting on at least an hour or two beforehand and then moving across southeast Michigan, even after the first wave moves through. We're still looking at at least widely scattered shower and thunderstorm activity lingering after midnight. And then as we go through the rest of uh, tomorrow and into Wednesday, we're still going to have this frontal system that will be stalled out over southern Michigan, northern Indiana, northern Ohio. So that still puts showers and thunderstorms in the forecast for at least the next couple of days through midweek. So 58 degrees overnight tonight, showers and thunderstorms start to roll through shortly after dinner time and as we get closer to midnight. As we get into tomorrow, a high temperature of 77, but it promises to be wet. Showers and thunderstorms still in the forecast, Karen, on Wednesday and Thursday, but things do settle down with more sunshine, warm conditions still around Friday and Saturday, the first two days of the Detroit Grand Prix.